Okay, so we also have a lot of other parameters on this node, but I think they will make more sense if you set up a crowd sim first. So let's do that. I'm going to put this to 40, so we don't have that many. And then I'm going to drop down a dotnet. And I'm going to jump in. So you don't need that many things to create a crowd sim. So you need a crowd solver, of course. So you connect that, and then you need an object where you have all the geometry, so that would be the crowd object. And you see now I gotta get this weirdly... Well, I don't see anything right now. Oh, I need to connect it to the source first. Now the source is just empty, but let's put it to first context geometry. And now you can see that we get this messed up geometry. The reason we get this is because we haven't connected a state to the crowd sim yet. So states are different behaviors that you can connect together and transition between. So for example, you can have an idle and then you can have a walk. Then you can use a trigger to transition the idle to the walk and so on. So let's connect that. I'm going to connect that to the third port here. And now you see it's not broken anymore, but it's actually not showing this state. You will see you have this warning here. And if you look at the warning, it says state point attribute do not match any known state. So Let's see, let's do an idle state here. So you see the default behavior is that it's just use a single clip, but a lot of times, like in our case, we have two idle clips. So let's put this to random distribution. And let's have idle one and idle two. But like I said, we are not seeing this state right now. So let's go back out to the crowd source and set this state. And here is, by the way, one of the reasons why I didn't want to go through the options on the crowdsource before we did anything in the dopsim. Because this initial state, if I click this drop down, you can see I get all the clips. But these are not the actual states. It's just that Houdini is trying to give you something to work with. And uh, so if you would set up a state for each clip, then this might be useful. But in our case, we have just one idle. But because the stop sim comes after a crowd source, it can't know about it. So you just have to type it yourself. So I'm going to type idle. And you also have an option, say that you have more than one state you want to randomize between. Then you can go to randomize and set this randomize initial state. All right, so if we go into our stop sim now, you can see that they are bending on different ways because we are using both the clips. And if I would drag this weight value, you can see it's changing. So we have a state, and before we do anything else, let us add the clip properties we set up before. And you do that on the crowd object. You can see we have the clip transitions and the clip properties. And uh, for now, let's just plug the clip properties. So I'm gonna go to the agent setup, and then to this our properties. Now our clip will be modified with whatever we set up on the clip properties sub. Okay, so let's go back to the state node and see what else we can do. So if we just play this now, you can see that they are sliding forward, which is maybe not what we want when they are idling. And this is because of two things. First of all, it's in place and we're having a gate speed. And this is driven by this initial velocity. So if I would set this to zero, then you would see no speed. And by the way, just like, like the other one, you also have a randomize for the velocity. So you can set this, something like that. Now you can see now they are going all kinds of directions. But we don't want to do anything of this because if you remember anything from previous videos, I want to use locomotion and I want to drive it from within the clip. So if I would do that, so even if I set this crowd source to initial velocity one again, if I set it to locomotive, then it won't go forward because there's no motion within the clip. Okay, so that is good. Uh, we can also set some variance if you want different speed. You can see you have a clip speed multiplier. You can set the variance to maybe 10% and then they get some variations. But we also want to randomize the time because right now all of them are starting on the same frame. So you can either do that here and just set a random clip offset. You have the initial clip time here that you can change. 
and this is a random offset. I usually set it here, but you could also set it on the crowd source. If you go to randomize, you have this randomized clip time, and then you can set it here. Okay, and uh, I think that is it for now. So we have this, we can see we have them standing here a bit wobbly. It's pretty cool. In the next video, you're going to add another state and set up some transitions.